Well, Elon Musk has just announced something that makes that look like child's play. He is he he just uh, announced with neuroscientists at his side something that is called Neuralink. Now he says at the beginning of his of his talk that he's doing this because he believes, and so does DARPA, that no one is working on benevolent AI. They're all just trying to get to AGI first. Because whoever gets to AGI first is going to rule the world. But he has been warning, and others have been warning, and DARPA has been warning and working on benevolent AGI. We need to make sure that whatever it is we're creating doesn't look at us like rodents and decides to exterminate us. We won't be able to understand it because it will be thinking so fast. So what he's been trying to do is, how do we bond with AGI? How do we fuse? This is transhumanism. This is another thing that that, uh, Stephen Hawking warned about and was misunderstood by the end of his life, where he said there won't be any Homo sapiens left by 2050. What he was talking about is humans as we know it will be over because we will be so augmented with technology that you won't be able to survive if you're just a natural human. So he introduces the Neuralink. And again, his goal is to, is to be able to interface with AI so we are not left behind. But what the first phase is, is an upgrade of what my daughter has been going through. And what he introduced was 10 thousand times better than the latest technology. 10,000 times. He says that it will be ready for humans in a year. And it is, it's, what's amazing is, it's like a sewing machine. It has to be done by a robot because the probes are the size of a human hair. And they have to be threaded in between everything and put exactly into the right place of the brain. And he has built this machine that is a robotic, looks like a robotic sewing machine. And it implants these. But so you know, this surgery is a really delicate thing to do today. He believes, and he says that this machine will do it within a year, and he showed the machine, it it will be like LASIK surgery. You'll be able to go in and have these implants put into your head in an hour and then walk out. Now, that's phase one. Phase two is to help people walk, remember, do different things that for some reason, whether it's a stroke or Alzheimer's or whatever, it will repair the brain. It will not repair the brain. It will just be the bridge. For instance, it will record. So if you're driving to work every day, you see certain things and that helps you remember where you are. So it will record all of those things that you're seeing And when you are lost and you can't figure out, it automatically pushes those things out. Now, this is remarkable. You can't move your arm. You can't move your leg. It will push you, and it will remap the brain for anything that is broken. Phase three, which he says is around the corner, phase three is a neural link. You want to learn how to speak Russian? Download it. And you don't have to go get chips or anything else. You will think it. And Google Translate, or whatever the translate system is, that's online, will be a part of you. So you'll be able to understand. You'll be able to read. You'll be able to speak. You want to learn something? It will just be downloaded into you. More importantly, it will record all of the things that you have done. It will map your brain and it will be a two-way street. 
So you want to send messages, you want to whatever, you will be able to think it and it will be done because you will be part of the internet. Now, the real problem with this is who's controlling this? Because you won't be able to compete. For instance, let's say we go to socialized medicine. This technology will continue. But if we have socialized medicine, this, I guarantee you, will only be done by the rich. If it's only be done by the rich at the very beginning, are those people that are uplinked, you're not going to be able to compete with them. What do they do with this until all of us get it? And if all of us get it, who's controlling it? And can they just shut you off? They don't like your, you're becoming dangerous. You are saying the wrong things. So we're going to deperson you. We're already seeing this happen with tech now. They're building ghettos. But if everyone is super, super, super smart, and they can just cut you off from that and turn your system off, and you become a monkey. What is coming our way? Both miracles and madness. Madness. 